Good day, my Craft Along buddies. This is Jennifer, which is Crafting Along. And today we're going to dive right into Crafter's Companion Craft Club, month number five, the Shaker Techniques. This is going to be an auto ship from HSN. So if you've received number five, we are in the auto ships together. So I'm going to go through this with you. Um, by now, you know this is the index card. This goes in the binder. Number four, we got that cute, wonderful, adorable binder. And number four, she is so adorable. She is big. She holds a lot. Um, this is from number four kit. I will go through it, through it, and put the bag in. Once I'm done going through the bag, I'll kind of show you how to use this and how to make her look cute. But she's cute by herself. She is so cute. It's big. I love her. She's cute. So um, back to this. This is your index card. If you flip it over, it shows you 96 pieces of cuteness that you are going to get. You're going to get some stamps, metal dies, sequins, instruction cards, printed paper, crystals, acetate, chunky glitter, red line tape, seed beads, foam, transfer tape, um, robot transfers. You also get some satin ribbon and some other binding. So if you put this aside and you look at your bag, your bag is going to come with a whole bunch of envelopes in it. I did open the envelopes just to save some time. But these are the bags. These bags are durable. Um, I love them. They're good for putting all your projects in. If you want to put all your supplies, this supplies in there and some projects that you're working on. It will hold your projects. We all know we started a project. We can never finish them. So this is a great idea to start on a project, put all your supplies back in there, and whatever you're working on, you can put right in here. And when you come back to it over the weekend or a couple of days later, it's all together. So let's go ahead and open it. Right. These are so cute. I just love these bags. I do have a video on, I took these on vacation, and they held so much stuff. So that is on my um, YouTube channel if you want to look at that video. Um, but this is the bags. They're nice and deep. Um, but we all know that with number five. Um, and if you are not in HSN auto ship, I don't know the next craft day of these will ever come back around. I think you had to be in it. But I know you can get extra binders. You might be able to get the first kit, um, the first craft club. And I would say get it and, um, and enjoy it because I love the craft club. So let's go through this together. So we are going to start with our ribbons. Here's your ribbons. Here's your binding. Here's a big bag of sequins. You got some chunky glitter. So cute. It's so, so cute. I like these little jars too. But this glitter is so cute. Oh, it's adorable. And then you have some crystals. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Lots of them. Lots of cute little sparklies in there. Adorable. Sea beads. I haven't opened this. These ones yet. Oh, oh my gosh, look how cute those are. You get a lot. This would be good for a Christmas card. Christmas shaker. Look at all those reds, greens, and blues and golds. It definitely reminds me of a Christmas card. So this would be cute for Christmas. I don't know if there's any Christmas paper in here, but that would be really cute. Birthday, a hello, something. Really cute. Here's your red line tape. You get quite a few bit of it. Let's open it. It's pretty thick and it's um, wide. I don't know what size it is. I'm sure it says on there. So it's nice. Here's your foam tape. Skinny foam tape, but you get a lot of tape. So this is foam. Um, I don't know how thick it is either. I don't know. I'm sure they say on the thing, but it's pretty thick. So doing shaker cards, you have to have foam. So here's some stamps. So I did notice when I was looking through this, um, here's your dies. Your dies, they did think about this. So the, this die does go for this flower. I do not know if it's in the instructions anywhere. I haven't opened the instruction booklet. And this die, you know it's a word die, and it cuts out just because. It took me a minute to find which one I cut out, but it's just because. So you got the flower and just because. Let's go ahead and go straight to the dies since we're right here. You have quite a few dies. I'm impressed with these dies. So you have the ones that cut out the words. You have ones that we're going, it's going to make a tag. Here's the tag part. 
So you have lots of little um, embellishments, some lots of flowers, some stars, lots of decorations. Sorry, you have a square. You have some more outer squares, some big ones, some ones with scallops on them. You have this love that has the outline of the. Um, this is gonna be really cute. This is one we're gonna use today. It's got the outline, so it cuts out the word. And then you have a heart and some other decorations. So lots of cute little dies to go with your kit. Rub on transfers. You also has some acetate, but you get quite a few acetates. And you're probably gonna cut most of these in half um, or cut out the word or whatever. So you're not gonna use a whole sheet on a card. Um, for the bigger panel, you would probably come close to using a whole sheet. So you have lots of acetate, lots of projects in your future. So let's put that to the side. Let's put these to the side. You have some nice range of card panels. You also have some more of the smaller size card panels. You also have some printed papers. Nice variety. And you also get the booklet. So we all have, most of us have the subscription boxes. So you can make your own card base out of um, can, you know, out of cardstock, or you can use some of your subscription box cards to go with this. That's what I'm gonna do today. I have a bazillion card panels, so I'm gonna use one of my card panels to go with that today. But you also get a booklet. Um, and in this booklet, it gives you ideals, which I love this booklet. I love this ideal. I'm um, kinda of glad they came up with this. Subscription boxes, you were only left to look at the videos. But with this little booklet, it gives you ideas to get you started. And I can tell you, once you get started, your creative juices just kind of flow and all the ideas will start coming to you. So it's enough projects just to get you started on um, creating. So really cute ideas. I really like it. We have a website that you can go to, crapperscompanionboxes.com. I think we're gonna use this paper right here. I'm gonna keep all four of them out just in case I need them. So you can put the rest of your supplies back in your bag. I'm, put, I'm gonna keep my um, box out. So I don't think I'm gonna use any of these, but they'll be in here if I need them. We're gonna do on the outside. So I'm gonna put these back in so we don't lose them. So definitely gonna keep these out. I'm gonna keep my acetate out. I'm gonna put these back. And I think I'm going to fill my inside of my card with, I think, sequins. I'm gonna go with sequins and maybe splash a few of these in there so they're just colorful. But I'm gonna put these back in my bag also because I know where they're at. So I'm gonna put all this back in here so I don't lose it on my table. I'm gonna keep these two things out. I'm gonna put my card right there. This is right here. So let me show you how to use the binder real quick. This is my bag zipped. Um, you will need to poke out these little tabs right here. Let me put this aside. So for the binder, it's kind of tricky. It's so big and bulky. It has this little lever in it to open it. I have, I do believe I broke mine, but I know how to fix it. So all you do to open it is just pop it right here. And see how this is starting to come off. So it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> so I kind of broke it. But if it does do that, all you have to do is make sure this little round thing is on top. But all you do is slide your cute little bag in the, you can do it in um, these big holes right here. If you have a three ring binder that you want to put it in, that's what these tabs are for. So to close it, all you want to do is make sure that this little slot thing is right here. And there you go. So I know a lot of people are having problems with um, closing these. But I did break mine. I won't lie. So there you go. That's how you close it. And this is... Oh, she's so cute. So let's put her aside. Let's put all of our bags. I do notice the only thing, and it's normal because it's such a big thing and these are heavy is that you are going to see that she comes out on the bottom. I don't think it just hits you, but she comes out on the bottom. But once you put her on the shelf, she doesn't come out anymore. She just kind of rests. So she's cute. I love her. Adorable. So we are 
going to need a trimmer, a card base. You're going to need a card base, a trimmer, some scissors, and that's about it for right now. So let me go ahead and get all that stuff out. Okay, I have my card base, and it's going to be a 5 by 7 and like I said, this came from the subscription boxes. It came with the envelope. So we're going to set the envelope aside. And um, I think we're going to do landscape. And I do have my guillotine. Um, and I'm trying to think. I'm pondering for a sec. So we're going to cut these at two and a half. Let me see what that does. Could be totally wrong. Math is not my strong suit. But we're going to try two and a half. And we are going to cut it this way. Here. I'm going to go a little no. I'm going to go to two and a half. So here's two and a half. Cut that. And hopefully it's right. If not, we have some really cute uh, panels. So. Here's my two and a half mark, right here. Push a flush, hold the guard, slice. We're gonna have to cut again. So let me see if I was kind of close. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> our top. And this is gonna be our bottom. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cut love out of the middle, right here, because we are going to be cutting right in the middle of that. So let me go ahead and put this one on. If you rub your finger down the side of this, it just pops right off. So this one's going to be our top. Let's go ahead and put this one right. We're gonna use our big Gemini. So there's the app. do is um keep it like that then we're gonna take our love make sure it's centered take the love and we're gonna put it right and go right about there you want to cut both um love and the outline Just so you have it. There we go. So you can cut both together. Okay, just use my Gemini. I think it's the normal size one. This is the original Gemini. Set this back on here. So your pieces aren't flying around anywhere and you're not losing them. So I'm put that there. I'm gonna put our love right back in here. My pieces. Hopefully cut it through. Look like it did. It did. So hopefully it stays together because it's um there we go. This is what I needed. Now we got our opening. And this is what I wanted, but I think I'm going to now glue these down so they don't pop. Because um, actually I actually want to use a little bit of this kind of glue. So you just want to make sure that this doesn't pop up. Because we didn't want to get our glue on here. I want my um, tape sticking to my die in the middle and if I knew I would have um, glued this or 
used two um, double-sided tape, it would have gotten on my love. So we're just going to glue down these sides right here. Whenever it comes up, we're just going to give it a little bit of glue and it will take care of the problem. So on to the next step, if you get out your instructions, um, and we're here to this part where you cut out the whole thing. And then your next part is you're going to get a piece of acetate to go behind it. And this is what it's going to look like. So you want it to be bigger than your window. So if we take our acetate, I mean, could we cut out the love? No, just because it would be the same size. So you want it to be a little bit bigger than your window. So I would say if we did the love shape, it would be the same size. So it wouldn't work. It would fit inside of it. So just in case you ever thought about that, it wouldn't work. So let's put that back on here. So we are just gonna cut a small piece. We're gonna kind of line this up in the corners. It's on. And then we're just gonna mark it. I'm gonna go to right about I'll go here. And then we're gonna go right about I'll turn it this way. We're gonna go right about. So try not to get your fingers on it. So we're going to just cut straight across. Doesn't have to be straight because no one's going to see it. So I think I just missed. I did. There we go. So I'm going to put this back over here. Set this aside. What we're going to do is sometimes there's a film. The film in here, see it? It's gonna be running, but there's a film. So that's just to keep it clean. So then all we're gonna do is we're gonna put it down right here. Right here where it goes. And that's where your red liner tape comes in play. Because you can use your red liner tape to um, glue this down. Up so we can put some tape on top of it. It almost feels like jelly. So we're gonna put this right over top of here. So that's what it looks like on the front. A cute little window. As you can see there's a so and then what this is gonna do is once you put your your little bits inside this is gonna go right on top of it just like that it's gonna be so cute okay so get excited all right so we're gonna finish this off real quick so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna build your border for your um for your inside what we're gonna do is this is the tape that comes with it, the foam tape. You can go ahead and use this. What we want to do is cut. Let's go ahead and do this first. And then we'll build out the rest of the card. So you just clip at the end right here. And then you're going to want to butt it up right at this other end because you don't want your sequence getting out. So if you want to make a clean cut across, you want this to be straight, this other end is. So you want to butt up right against that. And you can make it smaller so you don't have to use so much sequence either. So you can go right to the edge right here. So you're going to cut. And straight again. Put it right at the end of the E.
do real quick is I'm going to throw some anti-static powder in here. What I'm do is I'm going to take a little bit of anti-static powder. I have a bag. And I'm just going to dab my brush on it. Get it all powdery. See all the powder on there? And I'm just going to wipe this so my sequence doesn't stick to it. I look a little cloudy on the outside, but we can wipe that down in a second. Hold on. That's me. For fiber cloth, and I'm just going to wipe it down. Okay, so there we go. Oops. We're going to have a little bit of diamonds in here, too. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta cut out another piece of acetate to cover up your love. Okay, so now this goes on top. Hold it just a little bit because we are going to put a, another piece of paper over top of this. And then you're going to have to elevate the rest of your card too so it doesn't sink. So let me go ahead and put this on top of it. So cute. Okay, let's finish this off. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of my foam squares. I'm going to use this to elevate my card a little bit so my paper does not sink in the middle. So as you see, it does show you a lot of shows you a lot of um, squares I used. So I'm going to go right in the middle. See if that will actually work. So the one thing you're going to have to do though is you're going to have to put a little bit of tape right here so it sticks. The piece of paper you're going to be putting on, you want it to stick to something so you want it to stick in the middle. And now here comes the fun part of taking all these little tabs off. Okay, so I have very skinny foam tape, and I'm going to try to see if I can get it to work. I think I'm going to elevate it. Okay, so I still believe I'm going to have to cut this a little bit, to, but that's okay. We can do that. So let's put this on the L. 
I don't think we're going to have to do the whole thing. Put it there. So we can squeeze it so you can see it. And then I think that might be enough. that love a little bit of elevation there we go that's our finished card or yeah i think that's it i don't think i'm gonna put anything on the inside so this is our finished card i like it a little bit of a shaker card so this is um again to recap a little bit this is your Crafters Companion Craft Club month number five at the Shaker Technique. We did use the love and we did um, elevate a little bit and um, we kind of went out on our own. It does come with a booklet to help you get some information on how to get started. Um, gives you ideas of what to do. This is kind of what we mimicked a little bit. Kind of went off on my own. Um, used some paper, cut in half, made my own design and I think it turned out a adorable so oh I like it it's so cute so again this is your craft club from crafters companion craft club month number five shaker technique this is an auto ship from crafters companion so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe and as always much love and I'll see you all soon so it's the next day. Um, one of the things I do when I'm done with a project is I will leave the project on my desk. I clean up my mess as best as possible. If I'm in a hurry, I might just leave my desk a mess. But last night I did clean up, but I do leave my project out with the items that I've been using. That way if I come back the next morning and I'm not in love with it as much as I was the night before or a couple hours before, I have everything out and I don't have to fish everything out and it's still kind of fresh in my mind. So. As much as I love this, <laughs> love, <laughs> but um, as much as I love this, it kind of blends in a little bit. So I'm not going to change it, but I'm going to do a little things and see if I can spruce it up. I didn't want to put any sparkles on it because there's sparkles inside with the shaker, but I think it needs a little something. So what I'm going to try to do is make this love stand out a little bit more and see if that makes the card pop. Um, I'm thinking that it's kind of blending in too much. Um, it's, I do like it though, it is so cute. Um, and it's elevated I'm on the sides you can't see. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to set this aside. I'm gonna bring in my Gemini Mini. I love this little thing, it's so cute and so much fun. Um, and I have my cutting plates somewhere. So my cutting plates are a little used. Um, hopefully it won't, I can still use them. I did cut these ones apart. I'm not for sure why I cut this one apart, but I did for some reason, I'm not for sure. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move this guy up a little bit, and then I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna try to get this love and this little bit of paper that I have left over. So there's a little bit of green. So what I'm thinking is that, I'm just gonna bring my card in. I'm going to put this right on top of here and see if I'm in love with it. And I'm not. I don't think. Hmm. 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 So I think as crafters, we second guess ourselves and we just don't know. I think it blends in too much. But when I'm looking at it while it's sitting up, it's cute, um, but it's missing something. And I'm not for sure what it is. Um, I'm gonna play with this a little bit more. Mm-hmm. The kitty wants out. Do I wanna put a little bit of, hmm, maybe a couple butterflies flying out? try that too maybe that will just give enough 
keep this here, but maybe a butter, a white butterfly, a couple butterflies, just to kind of give it the, let's try that. When in doubt, just keep on cutting stuff out. I know, almost rhymes, but not quite. When in doubt, keep cutting stuff out. And that's my new slogan. So I'm going to put this back on here so I don't lose it. And our mini again. I don't I think I got her from HSN. Well, I know I got her from HSN. Um, so don't know when she became part of the family, but I did get her in a cute little bag. Um, if you ever want to sell anything to me, include a bag, like a storage bag or a, a, a tote or um, something to store it in. And I'm yours. I will buy it. So, oh, maybe that's what we need. We do need a little bit of that. So I'm going to one let the kitty out because I'm not for sure I'm going to edit that out or not. Um, one let the kitty out. I'm going to cut a couple more butterflies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the wings on them a little bit. So they're kind of elevated. And then um, I'm going to cut a couple of these out in different color papers. And I'll be right back. I'm going to get some papers and I will, you won't even know I'll be back. But I'm going to get some papers and we're going to go from there. but no I think I'm on, the, I'm on the right path now okay so oh I do like it better with the double okay I think now we're now we're doing the right thing again my eyes were just like nope nope I do like it better this way. Okay, so I feel better. Now my eyes are happy. We're getting there. Oh, this is gonna be okay. 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 It took me a minute, but now I'm getting it. I just didn't know what I wanted to do, and I just knew that we needed a little bit of something. It was too blendy. It was cute the way it was overnight, but it was too blendy. It just blended too much, so 
I am happy that we're going this route. Junju is just a find the front of your butterfly, put your tweezers in the middle, and just give it a good squeeze. So and then this one is gonna squeeze under here, and we're just gonna pop that middle right there. There we go. There we go. I like it. Oh my goodness. I like it. Again, put this in the middle. Or even your regular tweezers. You can just put this in the middle and give it a good squeeze. And then just use your regular tweezers. And put that little middle right in the middle. And then give it a little poke. There we go. Okay. Now I like it. Now I like it. Oh, my eyes are happy. Okay. It was really cute before, but now... I like it. So, all right, guys. Now, no more go, no more going backsies. This is a lot better. I did like the other way. So, if you liked how we did it last night and um, before we started perfecting it this morning, then you can keep it the way it was. I thought it was too blendy, so I did this in a green. Um, I'm not for sure what color. It's um, an old Spectrum Noir. Um, set that I had from Crapper's Companion many years ago. And, and then I just doubled up the butterflies and I put some crystals throughout the little dots on the flowers. And I think this is adorable. You are welcome to put whatever saying you want in it. Um, with love, it's kind of personal. So you can put you on the front or you can put you in the middle or your, any message that you want to write. But my eyes are very happy with this. I'm glad I did this. So this is our finished card. I hope like you like what you see. If you do, please like, love, oh, I guess you can love it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, much love, and I'll see y'all soon. Thank you for watching, Minecraft Along Buddies. If you loved what you saw today, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, lots of love, and see you soon.